So we are doing our last part of the lesson concerning digital electronics. Main concern will be logic gates. This part is very very interesting. Contact Fundisha Utaelewa Vizuri and it will be a master of digital electronics. So what are digital electronics? To start with digital circuits. Digital circuit in Nini. So digital circuit simply is an electronic circuit which handles only digital signals. So chakuliza hapa ni kwamba digital signals in nini. So a digital signal ni signal ambayo inakuwa transmitted in form of discrete amounts. Sawa? Uh, it's either one or zeros. Kwa tofauti na analog signals. Analog signals ni kama zile zina variate, okay? That they have different values depending on the position. But for digital signals ni kwamba it's discrete. It's either ipo au haipo, either zero or one. Kwa mfano, unapokuwa kwenye gari, sawa? Ukifungua mlango siwa inalia alarm tun 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 tun. Like sasa ile pale ni ni moja ya digital circuit, sawa? Kwamba it's either mlango uko wazi au umefungwa. Hamna si umejifunga katikati uko intermediate hakuna. Ni either umefungwa au hujafungwa. Alarm itawaka au haitawaka. Bas no mfano wa digital circuit so it's a digital um, uh, digital uh, signals are those signals transmitted in form of discrete amounts is either zero or one it's either on or off okay yeah so as far as digital circuits are concerned the form what we call logic gates logic gates ni digital circuits but these logic gates are digital circuits that produces only one output which is either high or low depending on the level of input. Kuna ni circuit ambayo inaweza ikawa na input zaidi ya moja, mbili, tano, kumi, whatever. Lakini mwisho wa siku output itabaki kuwa moja tu. Kwa mfano, kwenye gari unaweza kukaa na combination ya mlango kuwa wazi na mkanda kufungwa. Sawa? Sasa kunaweza kukaa na circuit, digital circuit itakuwa in such a way kama kuna combination ya vitu viwili, kama mlango uko wazi na mkanda hujafungwa labda ndio ilie alarm. Kwa hivyo vivyo tutakavyo fanya combination ya input zote utakazoweka kwamba mkanda ni input kuwa wazi au kufungwa mlango ni input kuwa wazi au kufungwa lakini mwisho wa siku output itabaki kuwa moja either alarm ile au zime ndio maana ya logic gate so a logic gate may have one or more inputs okay may have one or more inputs and there are basically three types basic basic there are many types of logic gates but basically there are three types of uh, logic gates there is or gate there is and gate and there is not gate okay and these are the basic gates so we will start describing one gate after the other but before we start uh, i will start asking you all we ask ourselves in the meaning of kitu kinaitwa truth truth tables kwa pure mathematics ambao wamesoma logic wao oh, hawana shida na hii part is very easy lakini my interest sawa mimi napenda nikifundisha nibebe wanafunzi wangu ambao wako wiki sawa kwa hiyo my interest nitakuwa naelezea ba madi wale PCB waelewe na lazima utaelewa watu yani mimi nikufundisha so just have to pay attention sawa so truth tables inakuwa ni tables ni mathematical tables okay ni mathematical tables which mathematical tables which show possible combinations of input and the output that they will give okay so is the mathematical table that shows all possible combinations of inputs and their corresponding output okay so ndo hizi hizi box tunazoziona hapo kwa hiyo zinajaribu kuonyesha different combination ambazo zinaweza zikawa formed za input na output yake ambayo itakuwa ya resulted so tunaanza gate moja moja tunaanza na or gate okay nimeandika hapa plus just remember kwamba whenever we are speaking of or gate we are speaking of addition that the logic behind this gate is addition so just remember that logic behind the all gate is addition utakuja kuelewa zaidi hapo mbele utakapoona 
Kwa simbo yake inakuwa hivi au simple simply tu huwa wanachora hivi ukiona tu hapa mwanzo pako curved ujue ni oget okay simple inakuwa so it can have one or more i mean two or more inputs it can be three can be four can be five whatever but at, at the end of the day it's only one output y that will be resulted so it's a logic gate that has two or more inputs but only one have but only one output it gives low output if all inputs are low otherwise it gives high output so it will only give a low output if all inputs are low that when they are zero zero that's when it will give a low output otherwise if there is zero and one or if there is one and one provided that one of the, provided both of them the one of them is not low one of them is high otherwise it gives the high output don't worry about this statement the issue is how to 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 do it okay so when we speak of truth table of get first how do we form truth tables okay the first thing you should consider when forming a truth table is the number of inputs that's the first thing you should consider okay so that you know how many rows how many columns you can form so you first have to know number of inputs it's simple after you know the number of inputs it's just 2 power n are the number of rows that you will form so for instance our example here has two inputs so we have 2 power n where n is the number of inputs so 2 power 2 is 4 that's why we have four rows the columns will depend with inputs and outputs that you have we have two inputs first column second column of the inputs and we have one column of the output because we have two inputs and one output so we have three columns but for the number of rows it will be governed by two power n where n is the number of inputs so for instance here we have number of inputs are two so two power two is four so we have four rows one two three four don't count this this is not a law i mean the rows in which you will fill your possibility of combinations of inputs okay so the first thing you do okay suppose i had not written that a b and the output to y so you have the columns given us that so first row second row third row and fourth row okay so how do you start filling in the first column here you, the, the order of filling is just the upper half you fill them with one type and the lower half you fill them with another type kwa nusu ya juu unazijaza kwa aina fulani nusu ya chini unajaza kwa aina fulani kuna aina mbili tu either 0 or 1 hii ni off hii ni on okay 0 ni off 1 ni on so ukiamua kwa mfano conventionally hii ni tradition tu ni mazoea kwa sababu tumezoea kwa mfano kola mi hapa 1 2 3 4 sawa tuna 0 na 1 kwa nusu ya kwanza na naamua kujaza zeros nusu ya pili na jaza 1 okay unapokuja kwenye column ya pili ni kama umetengeneza kwa ile upande wenye zero na yenyewe unaogawa mara mbili kwamba nusu ya kwanza ambayo ni hiyo unajaza 0 nusu ya pili 1 na upande huu wa wanzi unajaza unaogawa mara mbili nusu ya kwanza 0 nusu ya pili 1 si umeelewa kwamba column ya kwanza unakuta ni four columns. So nusu ya kwanza unaijaza na aina fulani, nusu ino back na jaza na aina nyingine. Kwa nusu ya kwanza imejaza zero, nusu ya pili imejaza wanzi. Unapokuja column ya pili, upande ule wenye zeros ni wenye unaogawa mara mbili kwamba nusu ya kwanza unaweka zero, nusu ya pili one. Na upande wa pili wa mwisho wenye ones unaogawa mara mbili yenyewe. Upande wa kwanza unajaza zero, upande wa pili unajaza moja. Hii ni hii sio sheria. Actually ni principle ambayo inakusaidia wewe ku avoid kuruka possible combination. Ukifanya hivi utapata possible combinations of 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1. Utapata combinations zote. Kwa hiyo ni principle ambayo ukifaa tutapata combinations vizuri, okay? Kwa kwa mfano ungekuwa na rows 8, ungekuwa na rows 8, it means the first four rows due. The first four rows due. Kwa hiyo ungekuwa 1 2 3 4 okay? 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 rows nane. This is A, this is B, C, 
say this is C and this is D. Kwa ningeanza kwenye column ya kwanza ni 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 Okay. Say kuna nani hapo? Kwa 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. So nusu ya kwanza ningejaza haina fulani. Kwa hiyo nusu ya kwanza nimeamua kujaza zeros. Nusu ya pili najaza ones. Na kuja huku. Upande wenye zero na nyenye wagawa mara mbili ziko 1 2 3 4. Nusu ya kwanza naujaza zeros. Nusu ya pili naujaza ones. Na upande wa ones ulikuwa na wagawa mara mbili. Nusu ya kwanza najaza zero, nusu ya pili najaza ones. Napokuja hii column uh, Nusu ya kwanza eh, upande wenye zeros ambao ni 1 2 nusu ya kwanza najaza zero nusu ya pili ones na huko kwenye ones hapa najaza zero one kwenye hizi hapa najaza zero one na hizi one one najaza zero one kwa nimemaliza natafuta output yake kwa hiyo inakuwa simple namna hiyo therefore ukishajaza hapo na hapo issue inakuja kwa kujaza output hapo kwa sababu hizi zinakuwa sio values ambazo zipo Sawa, usijia ukajichanganya, usijia ukajichanganya, ukajaza output kwa principle ile. Ile ni principle hizi, ya nusu ya kwanza, nusu ya pili, ni principle ya kupata inputs. Ok, tena ni vizuri kabisa, kama kwenye kolom yako, uka split hapo, kandika ini, input. Afu karebo huku ni output. Output unaijaza kwa kutumia logic. Ok, ndoma nika kwambia OGET ni plus, ilikuwa ni kwa logic. Kwa mba utatumia hii logic kwa mba OGET ni plus or addition kwenye kujaza output. Kwa utakachofanya, baada ya kujaza hivyo kama ni hivyo sema mwanzo, unaanza sasa kutumia hiyo logic kujaza Y, kola mia output. Kwa vile mesha sema OGET ni plus, ukitumia OGET ni kama una add, una simply tu kujaza output zako na jumlisha. Kwa jumlisha 0 plus 0, mapata 0. 0 plus 1 napata 1 1 plus 0 napata 1 1 plus 1 haiwi 2 kwa sababu we are restricted to either 0 or 1 so instead of being 0 the best answer here could be 1 so 1 plus 1 nakuwa 1 simply like that so whenever we are dealing with all gate we add just remember that ukija kwa nand gate yenyewe ni dot dot which means multiplication ok multiplication multiplication so the logic gate ambao na inyene is equal to two or more input but only one output it gives so it gives high output if all inputs are high e statement usiangaike sana kuikariri cha mwimi ni kujua jinsi ukufanya then utakuja kuona e statement likuwa ina manisha ni kwa mfano after tulipo talk likuwa nasema it gives low output if all inputs are low kwa utu angali if all inputs are low hapa ni low na hapa ni low sawa so it has to give a low output ndo shilina wafosema kwa wana inaendana na tustebu yetu kwa mba if all inputs are low ina give low otherwise if it's not that way it will give a high input ndo mwana wakuta hapa 0 na 1 may give high 1 na 0 may give high 1 na 1 may give high similar to here hapa kisha jua kwa mba ni multiplication ukisha jaza tebu yako kama tuivo jaza mwanzo ok una multiply itu kwa and get ni multiplication and multiplication Kwa 0 times 0, napata 0. 0 times 1, napata 0. 1 times 0, napata 0. 1 times 1, napata 1. Kwa majaza hivu. Kwa principle inasema, it gives high output if all inputs are high. So if all inputs are high, it gives high input. But otherwise, any other way, it give a low output. A not gate is a special gate. It only uses one input. It only has one input. Ok, simbo yake nakuwa ni hivu. Simbo sama nilisau, simbo ya and gate nakuwa hivu. So it usually have straight line hapo, na inakuwa na curve na mna hivu. Sawa, ni and gate. Lakini not gate nye nakuwa na triangle kama diode, lakini na kidua hapo. Lakini special feature ya not gate ni kwamba ina chukua only one, only one input. Ok, na kujivu only one output. So it gives high output when input is low and low input if input so e in other words na itwa in inverter so that it inverts the input so if input is low it give high if input is high it gives low so it simply inverts sasa easy gate ni basic zinazo zikatumika in combination unaweza kachanganya all gate na 
not gate au and gate na not gate au or gate na and gate unapata gate tofauti tofauti kama ifuatavyo so ukicombine kwa mfano unaweza tukaform and gate and gate ni combination kama unavyoona ni combination hii ni and gate na hii ni not gate ndio maana inaitwa and gate kwamba ni not na and gate kwa hiyo have and gate here and you have a not gate ili duara linatumika ku represent not gate sawa so, ukichora tu sebo yako kwanza ni columns ngapi ni columns in why because you have two input so two power two ni four so you have one row two second row third row fourth row so you fill them the first half zero zero the second half one one column upande wa zero zinajaza zero one zero one okay so unaanza kujaza output kwa sababu hii ni nand sawa so, nand gate it means output inayotoka kwenye and gate inaingia kwenye not gate kwa finally not gate tam invert kwa utaanza kujaza kwanza suppose hii column ilitakiwa hapa kabla ya hapa ujaze output kwanza ya nini ya and gate sawa so, tujaze output ya and gate yetu tunakumbuka and gate ni multiplication kwa tuna multiply 0 times 0 ni 0 0 times 1 ni 0 1 times 0 ni 0 1 times 1 ni 1 so kwa sababu yaka cannot get final output itakuwa ni inversion nakumbuka not get ni inverter kwa hiyo itakuwa ina invert kile kinachotoka kwenye and na kukitoa kipya sawa so, kwa ina invert 0 na kuwa 1 0 na kuwa 1 0 na kuwa 1 na kuwa 0 kwa hiyo ndo and get unapokuja kwenye no get ni combination ya not get na o get so similarly hivyo hivyo kwamba kutokana na hii not get kwa mfano hapa Okay. Kwa mfano hii not not hii o gate hapa. Sawa, si unakuta ni kama tulivyosema hapa. Lakini unakuwa umeongezea o gate hapa. It means kuna kuwa na column ya inverter. Anachofanya ni ku invert hii output inotoka kwenye o gate. Kwa hiyo output inotoka kwenye o gate yeye na hadi ana invert. Kwa ukiangalia output normally kutoka kwenye o gate ndio hii x. Kwa una add 0 plus 0 ni 0, 0 plus 1 ni 1, 1 plus 0 ni 1, 1 plus 1 ni 1. So final output kwa vile kuna hii not get na invert hiyo output inatoka kwenye o kwa inakuwa 0 inakuwa 1 1 hizi zinakuwa zeros Lakini more complex tunaweza tukatengeneza what we call exclusive so get okay Ox, eh, o exclusive or get it is a special type of or get that uses a number of a number of gates okay the symbol is as given there kwa ni o gate hii ni o gate lakini naongeza another curve hapa kwa hiyo inakuwa ni symbol exclusive so gate okay so combination yake ni circuit kama ilivyocholwa hapa umeona kama circuit ilivyocholwa hapo so cha kwanza cha kujiuliza sawa so, input ni ngapi hilo ndo swala la kwanza kabisa ambalo inabidi tujiulize input ni ngapi kwa kwa kuangalia haraka haraka input usiangalie hizi za katikati hizi angalia input zinazoanzia mwanzo huko ni ngapi unaweza tukaona ni mbili ni a na b peke yake so we know that it is 2 power 2 na kwa ni ngapi ni 4 so we have four rows first row second row third row fourth row again tunaanza the first thing kabisa tuna gates ngapi hapa hebu observe kwanza tuna not gates mbili, tuna and gates mbili na tuna or gate moja. Kwa kinachotokea kwa mfano tuseme kwamba a ni, ni output inayotoka kwenye hii and gate na m ni output inayotoka kwenye hii and gate. Finally hizo output zinakuwa input za or gate. Ndio anakuja kutoa the final output. Okay? So we have n from this and gate, m from this and gate, uh, from this and gate they remember is your nand gate nand gate ni kama not ikiwa mbele ikiwa mbele ya and sio ikiwa nyuma kwa hiyo sijui ukajiconfuse ukaza nini nand gate no nand gate is only true when the not gate is in front of the and gate or no gate is only true when the not gate is in front of the other main gate sio before before it brings a different meaning So output inatoka kwenye hiyo and gate output inatoka kwenye hiyo and gate ndio zinakuwa input za hii or gate na inatoa final output y. Sasa tujiulize kinacho form a ni nini? Ni a na b 
au A ambayo inapita kwenye not gate kwanza kwa hiyo inaingia kama inverted A na inaingia kama B ukitrace ua ya unapotoka unatokea kwenye B hapo wamekaa vivi ili usconfuse na ua hapo kwa hiyo unakuja kwenye B so kinachoingia kwenye hii not kwenye hii kuform N ni A dash A ambayo iko inverted na B So kama tumesha tengeneza kolomu yetu ya A na kolomu yetu ya B Tutengeneze kolomu ya A dash tuwene na kuwaje Kwa not get ya na invert vyote vya kwenye A So badaya ya 0 ina kuwa 1, 0 ina kuwa 1, 1 ina kuwa 0 na 1 ina kuwa 0 So kupata N tuna combine A dash na B Kwa and, and tumesema ni multiplication Kwa kupata N yetu ya hapa Tuna combine A dash na B kwa nini? Kwa and ambayo ni multiplication. So 0 times 1 tunapata 0. 1 times 1 tunapata 1. 0 times 0 tunapata 0. 1 times 0 tunapata 0. Similarly kwa M. M anachoingia ukitrace anaingia huyu hapa ambaye ni toka kwenye A na B B lakini ambayo imepita kwanza kwenye not gate kwa ni B dash B ambayo iko inverted. Kwa hiyo tutengeneze kolomu ya B inverted. Kwa hiyo kutoka kwenye B tutengeneza kolomu ya B inverted ambayo ni 1, 0 inakuwa 1, 1 inakuwa 0, 0 inakuwa 1, 1 inakuwa 0. Ili katika kuform M yetu tunajua ni and gate ambayo inatokana na A na B ambayo iko inverted. Kwa hiyo M yetu inatokana na, na A na B ambayo iko inverted lakini and gate na yetu tuna nini? Tuna multiply. So kupata hiyo tuna kwa tuna multiply kolomu ya A na kolomu ya B negation au B inverted. So 0 times 1 na kuwa 0. 0 times 0 na kuwa 0. 1 times 1 na kuwa 1. 1 times 0 na kuwa 0. Tunapata kwa lametu ya M. Sasa awa wawili ndo wanakuwa input wa final O gate ambayo uko ukumuisho. Uyu ni O gate. Ok. O gate ulisema ni addition. Kwa unakuwa ni N plus M. Kwa una simply, una add 0 plus 0 ni 0, 1 plus 0 ni 1, 0 plus 1 ni 1, 0 plus 0 ni 0. Finally, you have your truth table. The most interesting thing here ni kwamba, hii na ito exclusive or get. Lakini, inverse ya uyu get, tunaita exclusive no get. It means, bele uyu get, tunaongeza or get. Kwa tukiongeza or get, ni kwamba tu, uyu anakuwa negated. Kwa uyu anakuwa ni y inverted. Kwa uyu anakuwa 1, 0, 0, 1 kwa inakuwa ni exclusive no get ambayo exclusive no get ni kama hii simbo yake unaongezea hii duala hapa kuonesha kwamba hii ni no get kwa inakuwa exclusive no get okay generally for so get if inputs are the same output is low otherwise high so whenever they are the same inputs whenever they are the same inputs inputs kumbuka ni hawa huku sawa so, hawa ni intermediate inputs lakini main inputs ni au kwa unakuwa unaangalia huku mwanzo ambao umepewa chana hawa katikati huku mwanzo ndio ina determine the number of rows kwa sababu yenyewe ndo input okay yeah therefore ukiangalia if inputs are the same kama mfano hapo 00 au 11 the output inakuwa ni low 00 na kwa 0 11 na kwa 0 the same output is low but if inputs are otherwise output na kuwa high otherwise naona ziko high kwa ni general principle ya so get so note that if the various ways in which you can convert the NAND gate into other gates for instance here if you fuse the inputs of a NAND gate you convert this into a NOT gate so having an AND gate in which the input are fused like that it's as if you have a NOT gate so here are other examples in which you can convert NAND gates into other gates you can see that here you convert a NAND gate uh, into an AND gate so you combine how you combine it with other gates you can see this for yourself and here you can convert NAND gate to an OR gate but the most important is fusion of the inputs of a NAND gate to form a NOT gate this is very very important here so you can do some revision here and practice more questions that you can try and recall how you feel this you remember that this is a NAND 
this is a NAND gate okay NAND gate so you remember it's an AND gate and a NOT gate so we multiply then the out the outcome we ne we invert it so 0 times 0 in a kuwa 0 but since of a NOT gate na invert na kuwa 1 1 times 0 ni 0 in a invert na kuwa 1 1 times 0 ni 0 in a invert na kuwa 1 times 1 ni 1 ki invert na kuwa 0 so you can practice for all the rest writing the names of the gates and the, the answers are in the next slide I shall view but for this one you can draw try try to draw the truth table maybe we can do this together the first thing you, you have to know is to know the number of inputs so we have two inputs here 2 power n so is equal to 2 power 2 which is equal to 4 so we have columns we call this input Okay, so we have A, we have B, okay, to start with, so we have 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4, okay, so 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, so suppose I label this P and this Q, so to have my P, P and Q, there mm, I know that P is the outcome P is the outcome of what is coming from the inputs of this NAND gate okay the inputs of this NAND gate remember remember if we are having a NAND gate as I said, in which you have fused the inputs, it behaves like a NOT gate. So what it happens is that P is just the inverse of A, inverted, because this is now like a NOT gate. Okay, it just inverts what is in A. So P is inversion of A, which is 1, 1, 0, 0. Similarly to Q, inversion of B. One, zero, one, zero. 1, 0, 1. 0 from here 0 becomes 1 1 becomes 0 0 becomes 1 1 becomes 0 so the final output that we will have okay the final output we will have actually it, it depends on what is here call this z the output now from combination of p and q so we have our column of z there column of z because this is a NAND gate we know it's an AND gate plus a negation or inversion. So we know NAND, AND gate, we multiply, then the final answer we have to invert it because of this NOT gate here. So we multiply P times Q and invert it to get Z. So we have P, 1 times 1 is 1, invert it becomes 0. 1 times 0 is 0, invert it becomes 1, 0 becomes 1, 0 becomes 1. So finally, the final output from Z because now this is an AND gate that has fused inputs again this behaves like a NOT gate so the final output is just simply the inversion of Z which is 1 0 0 0 and you get the answer simply like that so these are the answers if you tried in the previous slide as you can see NAND gate NO gate AND gate SO gate in other words this is uh, exclusive uh, as I said earlier it's this gate here this gate okay exclusive no gate no gate okay this is exclusive or gate this no gate no gate is the exclusive no gate so it's the one that is represented here exclusive no gate this is all gate this is a uh -huh, negated and get it's an and get in which the input of a and b have been negated okay have been negated this is negated or get it's an or get in which inputs of a and b have been inverted by this not gate and we have the xor get there finally those are the answers